Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn how to run reports in the Selling Manager Pro reporting tool. Now one of the benefits of having Selling Manager Pro is the reporting functionality. And the way that you would utilize this is you go to Selling Manager Pro Summary. You can see we're already here. You're going to scroll down and click on the reporting link. So for this month, I have not refreshed my report yet. So what you can do in this situation is click Refresh Report. When you refresh the report, it's going to pull anything for this month and then anything going to the past 90 days. So it's today and the past 90. Now, with reporting, it's very important that you're coming into the reporting and generating these reports at least every 90 days because the eBay website otherwise does not retain this information. So it is on you to make sure that you're generating your reports, that you're pulling them, making sure because if you miss even a little bit of in-between time, there's no way to get that information back. So it can take up to 60 minutes to generate your report. Uh, what we'll do is we'll look back at one of my older reports. So let's try May. All right, you can see I've got some sales, I've got some listing fees, you have as you can see, sale price, shipping charged, gross sales, cost of item, shipping cost, eBay fees, PayPal fees, total cost, total gain, sales tax. Now you'll see that it gives us the option to see a condensed view. And so this really just shrinks everything down and just gives you totals. I like seeing the expanded view. I want to see how everything is broken down. Now you'll notice that there is an area where it says cost of item. And so this one, for example, uh, where is it right here? Cost of item. This is how much it cost me to purchase this pair of shoes. That's what I sold it for, how much I charged them shipping, how much shipping actually cost me, eBay fees, PayPal fees. You can see it's a very functional tool in that it can really show you if you're losing money on your sales, if you're breaking even, or if you're coming out ahead. Now, the whole cost of item, the way that that works is going to be when you make a sale on eBay, you can go into your sold section and edit the sales record numbers. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So you can go into sold. We'll choose a pair of pants. So down here under miscellaneous notes, this is where you can put your cost per item. So you type in what it costs you. I ship via the eBay website, so my shipping cost is automatically filled in. If you are changing your cost per item, you're going to want to make sure that you click save when that is done. So let's go back to reporting. back to May. Usually it starts out as condensed. Let's go back to expanded. And you can see how everything plays out then. It's going to show me any final value fees. It's going to show me if I had any listing fees, which if you have promotions, it's going to show you that you weren't charged anything. So something you want to keep in mind, and this is said on the bottom of your screen, is that this is for estimation purposes only. So you want to keep in mind that you cannot necessarily rely on this information as complete. Um, if, you're, if you're trying to get information up from your taxes, things of that nature, you're going to want to make sure that you're keeping several different sets of records just to make sure everything comes up accordingly. But all in all, Selling Manager Pro's reporting feature is very useful for you to figure out if your business model is a financially sound business model. Now you can also print or download. I like to download my reports because I save them to my desktop in its own folder and that way I can make sure that even though these go back to the past 18 months so long as you're actually clicking into reporting and generating these reports, I don't like to push you know, push boundaries in that sense. So I like to keep copies on my desktop of these reports. And I would suggest that you do the same. 
All right, guys, well, that's how to use the reporting functionality of Selling Manager Pro. Keep watching for more videos on how to build your eBay arsenal.